What is up guys? I'm currently at the top of Azusa Canyon Road in uh, Southern California. It's a beautiful canyon road down here. I thought I'd make a little review of the road. That would be interesting uh, for those of you who live in Southern California or are visiting ever. So I mean, this is the very top. You can imagine in the winter there are certainly snow and ice out here. Um, the weekends is usually packed with cars, all cool stuff, BMWs and Hondas and such. And uh, today's kind of a crisp day. It is a, uh, it's April right now, but you can kind of see it is uh, pretty stormy looking up there so not gonna stay here for very long but the temperature change is crazy I want to say at the very bottom it was like you know 70s and up here it is 52 degrees in the moment so yeah this car is uh, kind of perfect for this road the C63 is great but I think with this kind of road it's very tight and uh, I usually prefer a car like this a little smaller you see a ton of Miatas out here all the time and a ton of Honda S2000s, E46 M3s, and all that stuff. I left the car and only to let it cool down a little bit. Um, with the M54, the oil temps too get a little high. There are a few straights on this road. Uh, we're gonna go down a little bit later as we uh, go back home, but uh, I use those straights to kind of cool the car off rather than kind of flooring it. Well, let's get to it then. So, I keep my car in uh, with DTC on, so not fully on, but in sport. And then um, I usually will uh, show my MHD gauges over here so I can see my temps and all that stuff. So, top now, we're gonna go back down. Um, I usually keep the windows down for the sound, but I think it's too cold right now, so let's just get to it. So this road is kind of one of the roads I come to a lot. It's uh, not as far from me as Angeles Crest is, and it's actually a little bit more I want to say tighter, um, not as uh, much of long sweeping turns. That road's perfect with the C63 and SLS to be honest, but this road is a little bit tighter. Um, dare I say more technical? I don't really know if that's the right word, but it feels a little bit like you're doing more, you know? So with the manual treads and all that stuff, it's just a good combination. We're about 5,000 feet and, uh, you know, it came quite a ways away. I'll, I'll flip the camera a little bit later and you guys can see sort of where we come down from. It's, it's pretty crazy. So for me, this road is just all about enjoying shifting gears and, and just enjoying using heat and tow and all that good stuff. Um, it is kind of annoying to get here sometime just because there's a little bit of traffic, but I think it all makes up for it when you're out here just driving and having fun. Currently, it is a, uh, it's a Tuesday, I believe, so uh, no one's on this road. Like, literally no one's on this road. This time is um, 5, 16 p.m., so kind of good to know there's no one here. see where people have just hit the brakes super hard, panicked, and gone into the side rails. So you really don't want to be doing that stuff. Um, the lower part of the road is definitely a lot less twisty, uh, a lot less elevation change. But this top portion can get pretty um, pretty airy at times. Like right over here, I've actually seen a cop with a, uh, a tow truck in a little Civic out here one time. It's just the downshift from four to three, and then following through. That was a pretty big turn right there. I would love to feel this car with an LSD on the same road in the future whenever I get that done. Because I feel like that would add a huge amount of uh, traction, just confidence in those turns. Um, I've actually never taken the C63 out here because I've always felt, I've always wanted to take the 335 to be honest. It's just a lot more fun um, with this kind of road. Seeing some more skid marks of someone coming into the guardrail. But yeah, you know, just really the key of this road is just taking it easy. That's why it feels rough. Just taking it easy on this road, really not going 10 tenths, not even 8 tenths, um, especially in this top portion. It's just not safe at all. One thing to watch out for on this road is definitely going to be a lot of rocks. Um, there's kind of a sheer cliff edge you can kind of see uh, next to me on the side over there, and those rocks just sort of come down every once in a while. and. Uh, they'll end up on the road and that's a good way to just totally destroy your radiator or uh, your bumper even. So I would just keep in mind, you know, be careful of those. It's kind of funny, I'm looking right now, even with DTC and Sport, you know, the, uh, the traction lights just keep coming on because this car just struggles so much for grip. That's why I think an LSD would really help this car out. Really, it's just a beautiful road, beautiful scenery. I would, I would dare 
there's a more more of a beautiful sort of look at Angel's Crest. Um, just a really fun way to decompress after whatever's going on, you know. It's just so satisfying too, especially with this car. Like I've done so much to it over the years, it just uh, kind of feels like it's you know doing something for me, right? <laughs> You choose the RPM you want to launch at in the MHD app, and then you can go ahead and put the clutch in, floor it, it'll hold it at the RPM, you let go of the clutch, you're in gear obviously, and you'll go. Let me know what you guys think about this kind of video. I'm not really used to doing stuff like this. I'm more of a D 
not so bad because it's a weekday, but cyclists, oh my goodness. Now, I'm not sure if it's a very common thing in other parts of the country, I'm sure, I'm sure it is. But a lot of these roads in SoCal, these beautiful mountain, you know, driving roads, Angel's Crest Highway, Azusa Canyon, um, you'll have these cyclists just, I don't know, I mean, I guess it's, you know, it's everyone's the road, not just for drivers or whatever, but I just find it so odd that you would choose to ride on a path that high performance cars are on all the time. I mean, I, I'm sure, like, unfortunately it's happened where a car is hit a cyclist. Like, for example, one time I was at this very corner, which I can see a lot of rocks. But as I was saying, um, I was at that very corner once, just turning it, and I was going, you know, probably a little faster than this, to be honest. And uh, I saw a cyclist, so I, luckily there was no other side of the road, I could avoid him. And, uh, but that's just one of the many risks with canyon driving, and it kind of goes to show where the track is just a much, much safer place. It looks like we have the first other car on the road. Now, you know, it's pretty important, you can get impatient, I, I do this all the time, when you start flashing and stuff with your high beams, and, uh, you know, the reality is, this is not a racetrack, this is just a road that happens to be very fun to drive on, um, and everyone has a right to be here, so, um, I have to remind myself a lot not to, you know, you know, uh, kind of get in their way and flash and be aggressive and stuff, and look at that, they'll get out of the way, they kind of know what's going on. I would love to drive an E36 M3 here. I feel like that would just be a dream. What I really want to drive is an E46 M3 now because now I have a feel of what E90 feels like. Not M3 necessarily, but um, I'm familiar with the chassis. And then I know the E36 a little bit just by driving it that one time. I would like to see where the E46 comes into play. Traffic, but that's no big deal as we are almost at the end of our road here. It looks like there's an E39 over there, huh? I think the biggest car I've seen out here was an E39 M5, and I just thought, wow, you are very bold to be doing that. This guy's pulling over. I appreciate that, pal. But there's still a guy here, so we can't really do much. We're basically nearing the end of our Azusa Canyon Highway run. Wow, this guy in the Highlander is really, uh, Let's push it, hopefully he's not pressured by me. This Highlander is really uh, not staying in his lane. I'm gonna back off a little bit to give him some space. Okay, so quick summary. The good, there is not too much traffic. You know, if there is, they're pretty good about moving out of the way like you saw in this video. Although I'm sure there are times where there is a little more traffic. There's also a great variation of types of corners on this road. In the first half of the road, you have more long sweeping turns with uh, less elevation change and overall higher speed. The second half of the road is almost the exact opposite with lower speed sections, tighter corners, and more elevation changes. And now, the bad parts of this road, which really aren't even that bad to be honest. Rocks are definitely a key concern on this road. You already saw in this video I had to avoid some, so I think the key is just looking out for them at all times and uh, just being cautious. Also, in the winter, very important to watch out for weather. There is snow sometimes up here, so be careful of that. And uh, also, there could be black ice, so be very, very cautious about that, especially on turns like this. In the winter, I almost avoid this road entirely just because it's not worth the risk. Other notes, uh, cops, they are rarely out here. I've seen them maybe twice, but uh, the common spot for them is at the very front of the road. At the very beginning is just a sort of long, sort of straightaway into the canyon itself. You might be tempted to go wide open throttle on those open stretches, but uh, just be careful. There could be cops hiding in those turnouts. Also, very random fact, the closest shell station to this is a canyon road. It has these very, very steep entrances, which for a lowered car, which is going to be going through these canyons, is not the most ideal thing in the world. With all that being said, that concludes the first road review video on this channel. This kind of video is pretty new to me, so let me know if you guys like it. This was a very fun video to make. I've already got a couple more planned. If you guys have some suggestions, leave a comment down below and like this video. And also subscribe for more content like this. 